I'm Evan Carmichael. Welcome to another edition of Ask Evan. In today's episode, I'm going to answer a question from one of my newsletter readers, Anna, who is trying to raise fifteen dollars to twenty thousand dollars to create a new social networking type of website and go after investors and one of my advice on how to do it. So Anna, thanks for the question. I think for you, it's a tough amount of money to raise. Uh, if you're looking only at fifteen dollars to twenty thousand, you're not really getting a serious investor involved. So you're not you're not getting somebody who has a lot of experience. Usually, um, a lot of the angel guys that that would be too low an amount for them. So you might get somebody like a, a dentist or a doctor to come in, and you know they have extra cash and would want to invest, but they may not have a lot of experience. And Part of bringing money in is you don't want just money, you want somebody who can help you and give you connections, right? They're going to be part of your ownership team, uh, they have equity in your business, so you want them to give you more than just money, you want them to, to be a helpful resource for you. So you definitely want to qualify your investors, but it may be too little an amount to go after a serious investor. The next thing is, is a lot of people want to start social media sites. So. You know, this is this is going to be a negative hurdle for you to have to overcome. There's a there's a stigma that a lot of the social media sites have already been created, and for you know new products or services, it's encouraged to build around the existing social media sites instead of trying to build your own new one from scratch. So there are still some examples of one that have that have hit it big, but there's a there's a negative bias that you're going to have to overcome and really show how you're different and what's so unique about you and why you're going to make it where all these other you know startup social media sites have failed. I think a more important issue is you're raising money to bring on you know, a team to help you, you know, build this website. So some company that you've hired to, you know, they've quoted you for the website and you're going to pay them to do it. It's really hard and from an investor's point of view, so I used to be a venture capitalist, we wouldn't touch a business like this because you don't have the technology team in-house. So for an investor, they want to see at some point that you're going to be able to exit from your business. You're going to be able to pay them their money back. So either you're going to go public or you're going to get acquired or it's going to be some kind of management buyout. And they look at what kind of technology do you have in-house. And it's really hard to run a business without having somebody on the technology side in-house. Right? If everything is exported to you know overseas or some other company, even if they're local, you don't have the experience in-house and it's really hard to grow a business that way and really hard to raise money for that type of business. So what I would encourage you to do is try to find a partner who really understands the technology side of things, can build it without having you give up you know, capital, without having to raise capital and bring on an angel investor. Try to find a partner who is committed to it uh, and work around that. If you're able to build up a prototype and get it going and get some momentum with it, then it'll be a lot easier to raise money because you have somebody in-house, you have core competencies, you have intellectual property, and you don't have to keep paying outside companies to finance your development. Uh, so I hope that helps. Maybe not the news you wanted to hear, but uh, those are my thoughts. Uh, if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up below. It makes me want to make more of these videos for you guys. And I'd love to hear what you have to think. Uh, if you have some comments, leave it below in the comments. Or if you have a question as well, you can leave it in the comments below. And we'll see you on the next episode.